Hi Capricorn, welcome to your tarot reading for the week beginning on October 9th through the 16th. It's Rena here and I'm using my traditional Rider Waite deck, the one that it, it all began with. Illustrations by Pamela Coleman. I'm really having fun reconnecting with this deck. I typically use the Morgan Greer deck, which I love, and I will continue to use that deck for most of my readings. But since I was doing a different type of reading, I thought I would do a different, use a different type of deck. Along with that, I'm going to be doing a different type of spread for this weekly reading. It's going to be pairs of cards, past, present, future. So hopefully you'll find that uh, enjoyable. Let's see what we got here. Been getting a lot of world cards, so a lot of endings for people. Not surprisingly, following that eclipse back in August, that things are still ending. Getting getting some of the hermit and moon cards too, so a lot of inner work or inner study, you know, things happening. Okay, now you can see, I'm sure the light is looking really unusual right now, the way that it's <laughs> falling on the table. But anyway, um, so this is the pair for the past position. We have the Six of Cups and the World card. So the Six of Cups is a card of childhood. It can be a card of soulmates, by the way, too. <clears throat> so you know what? I mean, if you have been traveling, because a world card can indicate travel, and maybe not just for pleasure, maybe for work. Maybe you've met your soulmate in some far-flung country, and you feel that this person's really your soulmate. But, the, but it could be um, that what's happening is that you're closing out a chapter in your life related to your childhood. Maybe you're healing from something from your past. And it, you know, sometimes healing can even be healing yourself of the illusion of something. Maybe the, this is a card of idyllic times. Maybe you always told yourself that your childhood was this perfect thing and now you're realizing that there was some dysfunction there. And that is allowing you to see your family members in a more realistic light. And that is very important when you, you know, especially as you get older, when you're dealing with them, because sometimes you can really believe negative things. If you've been told by family members negative things, you might take it to heart. And then as you get older, you realize, no, that's, that's their stuff. They put that on me because of their own issues. But that has nothing to do with me. I'm not that thing that they say I am. I'm, I'm not that person. And, and you're able to see it more clearly. And believe me, if you, think that, if you think that it's going to be by the time you're 30, think again. You, you could be 50 years old and have revelations about your, your, your family of origin. Trust me. So... That may be going on for some people. Um, it can be, too, that you're closing out that chapter of your life. Perhaps you've lived in one place your whole life, and now you're going to move. Maybe you're retiring, and you want to live in a, in a, a more temperate climate, and you're going to be moving away from your hometown. And it's difficult, you know? but you feel like you're drawn to do so. Now here's, here's the current state. This is not, this is very private and internal. The Hermit and the Moon card, very much associated with um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, going within trying to sort out fact from fiction. Again, this could be you doing your own work, therapy, 
where you are finally getting clear about some things that have maybe been with you for a long time regarding your childhood even. And there, maybe there were some secrets that were kept um, and that contributed to a lack of understanding of what was happening. And um, you're getting to the bottom of it. And I feel that when you really do this kind of work, I would say too, like shadow work, if you know what that is, really looking at the part of you that you tend to avoid looking at, I think it, it benefits you in all areas of your life because you will see patterns that kind of um, connect your work life with your private life. And they may have their common source in childhood and even past lives. You know, past lives too. And then we get these two cards that are very dynamic because they're both fire, which can be career-oriented and creative-oriented, and both, I would say, future-oriented. We have the Page of Wands and the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands uh, is looking out on the horizon and really seeing the expansiveness of life. It can even be with geography of wanting to um, leave where you are and set up shop. I, I'm getting these over and over again. And the world card, as I said, could be even traveling long distance. But in addition to that, we have the two of, I, I'm sorry, the page of wands. So this could either be a message that goes along with any kind of career aspirations, or it could be that you are simply engaging in something at its beginning stages, and it's taking you, it's, it's expanding your, your view, and you're thinking about all the things that you want to accomplish with it. But it's definitely a very positive start to something. And you're excited, you're, you're full, you're brimming uh, uh, with ideas and enthusiasm. And this is coming off of this period of reflection. So I think that's wonderful. I think that's always the best way to go about things. You're finishing up old business and then you're reflecting on that and then moving forward. So... Good for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. Otherwise, have a great month. Bye.